For the first time, the Kenyan government has allocated a 5.8 billion Kenya shilling budget specifically for HIV and AIDS control. The National AIDS Control Council highlighted this today whilst launching the County AIDS Implementation Plan in Nairobi and added that this will significantly raise capacity for ensuring that access to ARVs and relevant treatment remains a reality for those who need it. However, NACC is sounding the alarm saying that young people people aged between 15 to 24 years account for more than a third of new infections. Let's get more details now from Elfas Lagat. The National AIDS Control Council says the 5.8 billion shillings approved by the parliament specifically for HIV AIDS programs in the 2021-2022 budget is a shot in the arm with regard to efforts to control the epidemic. The first step we've done is this particular budget where Parliament has gotten it right and said let's allocate some funds, the 5.8 billion that has been allocated, to ensure that we secure the ARVs. The recent standoff between the Kenyan government and the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, over HIV AIDS drugs in the country, perhaps the latest reminder on why donor funding for ARVs is not a sustainable strategy in the long run. Partly because, one, it's not only expensive for ARVs, but we have also learned with COVID-19, the period that it takes for us to, to get those ARVs, when the money is not in your pocket, it's very difficult for you to plan. The council today launched an ambitious county AIDS implementation plan in Nairobi, with attention shifting to ending mother-to-child transmission and infections among younger people. People who are negative start of the year and turn positive end of the year are among young people, just age 15 to 24. And this will be a big message for young people. That yes, we still have people out there who are not on treatment, whose viral load is high, and your next section counter might be with someone like that. And so, I think prevention. The council called on county governments to ensure political goodwill and intentional inclusion of communities in a concerted effort towards sustaining awareness of HIV AIDS and best practices of preventing new infections. Once this, uh, the people are sensitized, then they will be able to prioritize even during their uh, budget making process so that they are able to uh, put substantial amount of money to the fight of HIV and AIDS. The Kenya Population Based Impact Assessment Survey of 2018 showed that Kenya's HIV prevalence stands at 4.9%. Among women, it is 6.6%, twice that of men which stands at 3.1% prevalence. With focus of the mitigation of HIV and AIDS now shifting to the counties, the National AIDS Control Council and the Council of Governors say that there is need for more resource mobilization and community involvement in ending new infections and managing existing ones. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV. Nairobi.